Well, the rooftop tent has finally arrived. It's only about a month late, but that's okay. We couldn't go anywhere anyways. It says the Tough Stuff Alpha. Made by Tough Stuff 4x4. They were sold out when I ordered it. It took a while to finally show up, but it's here. UPS man brought it and he trucked it up on his dolly. Thank goodness he brought it up all the way because it uh, says it weighs 245 pounds, but in actuality, they said it weighed 300 pounds. We are going to attempt to get it out of its crate so I can do some measurements and we can order the steel for the trailer over there. When you're taking off the crate, be careful these nails. They used like a thousand nails. One thousand. How is it going? <laughs> Don't wear flip flops while you do this. <laughs> Alright, we got the top off. Fight! We got it out of the crate. We took the top off and then slid it out. It's really, really freaking heavy. Let's see. Make sure everything looks good inside. Okay. It looks all intact. A box of goodies. It's badged on all four sides. This, this side's pretty cool. Tough stuff over there. And then on the, oh, another one right there. Big elf on the back. Single over here. That's the big white dog. This is the pickup truck. I wish the tent could have stayed up there, but. It's a Lear canopy and they say that it can't support the weight. So, this is where the tent's gonna live. Up on here. Insert diagram or insert picture. It's a lifetime trailer. We've had it for ages. Still rolls. I gotta get some new tires for it. But it's lightweight. Theoretically will hold 1,100 pounds. So the idea is it's gonna sit about three and a half feet up off the deck and that'll leave us enough room for bikes and then storage and everything. Okay, look, now we gotta measure and see how tall to make it to fit the bikes underneath and then the width. So, so we're gonna have it, the rack come all the way out here and then come up so we can put possible kayaks or whatever on top of it if we wanted to. Should be the mounting hardware. Orange, your favorite color. What is this? This is for the lights inside. Patch kit. Mounting bracket. Ooh. Got handles we gotta put on. Here, look. Comes with one of these. Chrome. Cool. Nice shiny top. said it but I like that logo. Look at that. No battle damage and shipping. So this thing had to only go one state over. I think they're made in California or at least shipped from California and we are in Oregon so didn't have to go too far. All right we're gonna measure end to end roughly 76 to be safe. 
56. The tallest part looks like about 15, but we'll go 16 or 17 to be safe. And then the big question is how far apart are the rails? And that is the mounting bracket. Looks like about one foot on center. About 11 and a half. So this thing is going to sit on top of the trailer and I don't weld. So we got the no weld rack component. So this is the bottom and then these are the connector bits. And so you just order your, your, your uh, square steel and then build your rack from there. But we got to get the right measurements. But there's all the pieces. And I think we're going to paint these all bright orange. I think it'll look pretty badass with the black. All right, I just ordered the steel. This was what I came up with for the design. We have the upper decker for kayaks or something we can put up there. And then the tent itself will sit in there. Give us a quick 10 second brief camping history. Started a tent, tent, tent trailer, RV, VW van. Well, we didn't have that, but we liked it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we took a VW van over in Europe. Fantastic. We really liked being nimble and small. 26 foot Navion. Fantastic. Love it. Way We'd too, love to have it. Too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the books right now. So, uh, we uh, ended up with the rooftop tent. So, hopefully we'll be able to squeeze into some small forest service parks and 